do you think about the positive response by so many Democrats in the room? How did, what does that mean for... for well, I mean, this is, this is an event where we want to hear what's going well. And in the country today, there's so many things going badly. So I think people want to give him the benefit of the doubt. But, you know, there's the public-friendly Charlie, and then there's the man behind the curtain. We have to pay attention to the man behind the curtain who is pursuing all kinds of strategies that remind me of Trump. He's blocking refugees, and he is um, uh, uh, slowing down many of the progress that we want to make in the state. I mentioned energy, but uh, he is not facing the problems of the future. When we have all those driverless cars, where are all those drivers going to go? Where are all the truckers going to go? So we have real long-term. Where, what are we going to do about climate change? He mentioned a few million dollars for adaptation. We're going to need a multi-billion dollar uh, a, a gate or a wall across the harbor to protect us. He didn't talk about that. And this we saw in the recent winter uh, that we had 35 communities flooding. What's he going to do about that? So again, it sort of sounded like a speech from 2008. And we're in 2018. We face an uh, urgent problem for our, our uh, for our politics, with a with a president who wants to destroy our democracy, this governor's from the same party. He made no direct reference to the president. He just basically said, "I'm a nice guy. I'm willing to work with you on small stuff. That should be enough." It's not enough at a moment of crisis. So he may be a nice guy. He's just not the right guy for today.